What is up everyone? My name is Cargo. Welcome back to our Calamity Rogue series. We're on episode 27 and I am stoked for this episode. I know I say I'm excited for uh, each and every episode on our intro, but it's not an intro. I genuinely mean it. I am stoked to be recording this. So we have now defeated the, uh, now I'm forgetting it, Providence and Dragon Folly, which means we can now take on the Ceaseless Void, Storm Reaver, and Cygnus, which also means we've unlocked Uli Bloom armor or ore or bars whatever they're called which is in the jungle so we're going to be looking for those then we also and we want to upgrade our armor i think there's a couple accessories we can make otherwise i think we're just gonna after we get the armor we're just gonna take on these three bosses and get some freaking awesome gear and then poltergeist is next which is crazy because poltergeist seems like so far away but yet it's also so so close so let's grab some Spelunka Dunks and head into the Jungle Dunk to find some Ula Bloom ore. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I know uh, I know it might sound weird that I, I'm so excited for every single episode, but I really, I love, I love recording. I love being with you guys. I love uh, hanging out, making memes, playing games. Oh, we did not teleport very far. So some of you who have been here before, who have watched a few episodes... By the way, I have no idea what Lou Bloom looks like. Oh, wait. Oh, is that it? Look at that. Huge patch right here. Boom. Some of you might be astute enough to see that I'm actually not standing. Um, it's a little hard to tell, but I'm actually currently sitting, which is... Uh, an, I don't normally do this. For those of you who are new, which, by the way, there's always new people here, and I freaking love that. Oh, my gosh. I'm surrounded by water. Uh, but I was just going to say, for those of you who are new, I, I stand. I stand while recording. I stream four hours Monday through Friday. Uh, I, I stand during that. I just I, I I think better while standing. I I feel I feel like I play better, like my performance level in the game, which is really weird. I didn't expect that, but I'm better while standing. That's true when I play Valorant, which by the way I've been loving Valorant recently. I I love Valorant. Sometimes it gets me angry and I don't know how to deal with it, but I've been loving it. Oh, another thing that we unlocked. I completely forgot to mention this. Bloodstone cores. We can now go kill Brimstone Elemental and another boss. And I can't think of its name. Um, to get Bloodstone cores. And also, can't we just head into the Bloodstone Crag, or whatever it's called? And enemies just naturally drop it, right? Can I teleport over here? Oh, I can. Oh, a little boulder. Oh, my. I thought that was going to kill me. I'm absolutely stoked. I love unlocking new things. It is like one of my favorite things. And with with modded, there's so many new things to unlock. Like everything that's new is just like, oh, it's so cool. I want to immediately upgrade all the things. I want to do all the stuff. But before I forget, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your patience. Um, this week of moving has been a lot harder than I anticipated. Um... Especially with the internet issues. I talked about it last episode. I won't go into it. Or else I'll just get heated again. You know? I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm a very angry person. I'd say I'm pretty lighthearted. I like to think the best of people. I like to act the best. Like, in the... The best that I can, you know? I don't I don't want anyone to, like, think that I'm a bad person. Maybe that's a personal thing. I don't know. But, uh... I'll get heated if I start talking about the internet. I'll get angry. Like, I don't want you guys to see that side of cargo. I, I don't like that side of cargo. I don't want you to see that side of cargo. It's uh, I'm, I'm already talking myself in the, in the third person. That's already a bad side of cargo. I don't want to see any more bad sides, you know? But seriously, I hope you're all doing well. Dude, watching a plague greener get destroyed by my stellar content. That's one of the best things about modded, let's be honest. Alright, so we gathered plenty of um, Uli Bloom ore. We got 250... Um, plus we made it another run, so let's go ahead, deposit all, grab you, and let's make some Uli Bloom bars. Do we need anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Look at that. Yeah, only five ore. Oh, so we can craft a bunch of this. Very nice. And then what's the type of armor that it makes? Let me see. Tarragon? Tarragon, okay. I don't... Oh, can we make this? Oh, shoot. I don't think we have enough geodes. Oh, do we have to kill Providence again? Oh, nuts. Oh, I really don't want to do this. 15 defense and plus 2 life regen while t wearing Terragon armor? That's not sick. 
Okay. So it looks like we need more geodes. Oh yeah, we need. So so we need six. 18 and then where's the breastplate where's the where's the breastplate part of this thing is it not called tarragon tarragon breastplate i'm very confused whatever i'm assuming oh i can just look at this and then 18 so we need 36 dang son that's why oh i can't make it that's why it's not showing yeah because i don't have enough geodes so i'm gonna have to get more divine geodes and Divine Geodes, they're just dropped from Providence, right? Of course, it doesn't show me. Because that would just be too perfect. Alright. Well, I, I think I'm going to go get Bloodstone Cores first. Upgrade some stuff and then take on Providence again. I know a lot of you were telling me to fight at Providence in Hell. Or the Underworld. I just don't have a very good arena. And I don't really want to build another arena. Maybe we'll save that for next episode. Maybe I'll feel uh, a little extra buildy because that's what uh, really these these arenas here that's what i was feeling i was feeling like using my drill containment unit i wanted to um to like build those arenas i wanted to take the time not so much anymore i wanted to grab some uh some zergs some zerg potions maybe a battle potion here i can put these away because uh i want to get a lot of bloodstones or bloodstone is that what they're called Bloodstones. Whoops. Our, our divine geodes here. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Okay. We'll, we'll get to our bloodstone crag area. And then uh, we'll, we'll get a bunch of bloodstone. So I'll be right back. Alright. Looks like we finally made it here. We just got our first bloodstone. So it looks like it's going to be pretty easy. There's also a lot of enemies here. And I have not even used a... Um... 600 damage? Oh my. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, well we got one. Let's see what this makes. Holy moly. Oh yeah, Bloodstone Cores. That's what they're called. And then Bloodstone Armor. Oh, do I make Bloodstone Armor first? Oh wait, no. We need Ruinous Souls, which is past Ulubloom Armor, right? Is there any uh, rogue weapons that we were looking at? I can't remember. Holy moly. Scarlet Devil. You're insane. Oh, the Blood Soaked Crasher. That is... That's right. This thing's probably so slow. Oh, the Alpha Virus. <gasps> this is what I wanted to make. It does like a thousand damage. There's a giant plague cell with lethal aura that splits into six plague singers and death. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay, so we want a bunch of Bloodstone Chorus. Which is sad. And then how do we make bloodstone cores again? There's a... Oh my gosh, we need so many materials. To make two, you need five bloodstones. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, I really don't know if I'm ready for this. <sighs> no. Okay. Let's get back into the brimstone elemental arena, or wherever it is. All right, as I'm walking up to the uh, Brimstone Crag or whatever it's called, I never, I never actually learned the name of this place. But uh, I wanted to talk about the Elysian Wings. So I know that the Elysian Wings make something with the Seraph Tracers, but that's going to be until post-Devourer of Gods, I think. Because you need Cosmolite. If, I rem if I'm thinking of that correctly. You let me know in the comments if I'm not. But I was wondering, is it really worth it to have the Seraph Tracers? Because this is kind of ridiculous. Also, this is like no damage. No, it's just everything has a billion health. Okay. Well, that's not fun. Uh, like, they literally have, like, 300 billion health. This is ridiculous. Maybe I just hide in here. And just, like... Oh! Man, this is terrifying. These things just, just do so much damage, you know? Oh, I walked through here? Did that just drop? What does Brimstone Slag make? Brimstone slag. Oh, it makes all like the 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 furniture and whatnot. That's not really what we want. But yeah, so like, do we have to wear? Oh, there goes our energy staff. Oh, it doesn't get melted. Look at that. Do we have to wear Sarah sweepers, or are we just like? Can we just m miss it? Because I, I I really hate the flight time on these. Like, I'd rather have a lot more flight time. It's sad. Maybe uh. Maybe for like a fight like the Devourer of Gods, we do 
the Elysian wings versus the other ones, you know? That would make sense to me. Because we're going to be in the air for the most of the time. You're, not, you're, you're rarely running around. Maybe you are. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I just wish those dropped bloodstones as well. Man, yeah, it looks like these all do, like, way more damage now, and I really don't want to push my luck. So I'm just going to use a battle potion just to get things to spawn in more often. But other than that, I'm not going to really, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use everything. Charred ore? What is charred ore? Oh, okay, hang on, chill out, brother. I just want to see what it does. Uh, unholy core, angel, oh, it makes unholy cores, that's nice. Okay, so that's good to know. Right, I'm just going to farm this out, get a bunch of bloodstone, and then I'll see you guys in just a smidgen. Jeepers! Okay, I'm not I'm not doing so hot here. I literally live like 20 seconds after I said I would do a jump cut. So, but we got eight bloodstones. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Okay, let's, uh, can we even make bloodstone cores yet? No, because we need the phantoplasm, which is in the dungeon, which is... I'm gonna cry we need so many of these things I right, let's go ahead and uh, make a charred relic I think that's what they're called man I am just so I uh, charred idol dang it I was gonna say I'm so smart and then I do that I'm gonna do this we're gonna buff up and do all those other things we're gonna like we're gonna actually fight this thing and maybe it drops more bloodstones like because it's a boss if it drops like one bloodstone I'm gonna be so sad literally so sad Okay, so we're using our uh, Vicious Shattered Sun, um, and uh, it's doing alright. It's doing good work because it's focusing on the little bad guys that shoot a lot of things. But the thing is, it's not actually doing a whole lot of damage. And this fight is way more difficult now. I I thought we would be... I mean, like it's not like a difficult fight in the sense of like... It's, I've, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm good at this fight now, like I've learned it. But like, I thought we would one-shot this thing. Like, I thought using a, an adrenaline right there would absolutely crunch this boss. But no. No, sir. The great, the great thing about the Shattered Sun is that it's focusing the little guys. The bad thing about the Shattered Sun is that it's focusing the little guys. You know what I mean? But no, we're doing alright. Hey, look at that. What did we get? We got Bloodstone. Oh, we got 28 Bloodstone. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I kind of want to do it again. Let's do it one more time. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hang on. We need to kill these things first. Uh-oh. There's a lot going on here. So, um, I'm at my parents' place. And it's because they have internet. It's a little weird being back here. You know? It really is. Like, it's kind of like thing like where you like you move out. You don't expect to like ever come back. Not that like I'm living here or anything like that. But like... For a while, we used our setup here because of the internet. Our, our internet at our last apartment was really bad. And now we're back because I don't have internet at all. It's not even like that it's bad. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Do you guys know what fiber is? Fiber optics? Because uh, at the new place, there's it's phase 4 fiber optics. I don't know what really phase 4 necessarily means. But I know that it's good because... Um, apparently I was told by the, the Cox guy, he said, yeah, you can actually get, uh, oh, I just ran into that, fiber optics within the next few months, which if you guys know anything about internet speeds, so download speed is always going to be higher than your upload speed. That's just how it works. Um, like you, like for good up or for good down and upload, you want a hundred down and 20 upload. That's what I say for like typically good internet, hundred down, 20 up, like five to one ratio. Well, I'm paying for the Gigablast um, package for with Cox, so that's like a thousand down, roughly, and then it gets it gets like forty up, I think is what they were saying, which is uh, good, not great, you know. Sixty-three Bloodstone. Okay, this is definitely the way to go. Can't believe I was just gonna farm for it like a madman. Okay, um, well with the with the um, the fiber, it gets up to five hundred upload which just sounds bonkers it sounds like i'm gonna like youtube videos are basically gonna be live by the time i record it and edit it it's just gonna be up on youtube i don't like i won't have to worry about uploading anymore 
It's pretty friggin' sweet. I'm, I'm hyped for it. So, there's good things to come from the internet. I'm really excited to be in my own office working from home, actually. Look at that. Like a YouTuber should. What we're doing, we're doing great. Okay, let's make some bloodstone core. Oh, wait, I can't. Let's grab our Zerg potion. And let's go deal with the dungeon. I forgot about this. We have to get go get the phantoplasm, I think is what it's called, right? And that's in the dungeon, yeah? I'm assuming... Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Please don't kill it. I'd really prefer not to do the... Uh... Dang it. I'm going to have to teleport home, aren't I? Will he follow me? Does he follow me? I don't really know, actually. I think he's following me on his way down. He is. Gosh, I don't want to do this. You little lame. I just wasted, like, what, three gold? How much does it cost to get this? Yeah, three gold. It's not that bad. Okay, so I got, like, 19 of them before I, like, ended up dying. I don't know how many we need of these things, so I'm just going to craft as many as I can, and we'll go from there, yeah? 28 bloodstone cores. I feel like that's a lot. I feel like that's pretty good. Let's see what you make, right? You make that and that. And that's pretty much all we want. There's nothing really else. So, that looks like it's 27. Shadow spec bars? Oh, wait. That's not the one. We want the bloodstone and the alpha virus. Boom. Oh, my gosh. We're going to make these. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're going to make these. I'm so hyped. Okay. That's called the alpha virus. Oh, my gosh. This just looks... And it's sleek. I'll take that. I'll take sleek. And then, what's this one called? It's called the Blood Soaked Crasher. By and it's feathered. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, let's check these out. Okay, I see it. I see it. It could be... It's pretty slow. But I could see, like, a Wormy Boy, like, with the uh, Ashram Diaz. These things would crank. You know what I mean? All right, how about this? Oh, it like falls through it. I was like, what is happening? So it does pierce. Okay. It gets affected by uh, gravity pretty heavily. Like it falls off almost immediately. But this could do some pretty good damage. I think... That might... This might be better here use that there i don't want to get rid of my cellar content because this thing still rocks it i think we can put these away i think elemental disc you have proven your worth in value in gold or in platinum because my goal by golly you would not i would not have killed providence without this i kind of want to try providence now um with the new weapons and once we get more geodes we'll make the new armor and we actually might have to call it an episode there i don't have a ton of time today i have so much homework i'm so sad for those of you who are just starting school i feel your pain i really do because i do school year round so i'm in i'm in college still for those of you who don't know i'm studying computer programming at the online school of grand canyon university and I love my degree. I couldn't see myself doing really anything else. Oh, wait. We got to get rid of this. Um, but it's hard. It's tough. And especially doing online. Like, you're teaching yourself. And with the last couple of weeks that I've had, with all of the issues we've been having, how busy I've been, with the moving. Dude, keeping up is like... Whew. Let's just say I'm very lucky to have the professor and team that I do because they're they're OGs. What's my heal at? 20 seconds left? Oh, whoa. Oh, there's there's a second stage. Oh guys, there's a second look look there's a second stage. What is this? I don't know what this is. I had no idea Providence would get harder. Is it harder? I honestly don't know. Maybe it's just different colors. It didn't seem like it got any harder. Oh, it hits a lot harder. Oh, oh, it got harder. Oh, okay. Now it's, now it's, yeah, it's difficult. Oh, I just got hit. Three. How do I get geodes again? 
Because uh, there's no freaking way I am defeating Providence again right now. All of you at home are probably like laughing at me. Like, look at this dude. Look at this nerd. And I'm over here like, yeah. <laughs> Let's do one with Providence again. Oh my goodness. How do I get geodes? To make a Lublum armor. Can I not do this yet then? Alright, Runicos. What does this guy even look like? Oh. Okay, I'm thinking the the Shattered Sun is going to be better. Oh, okay. You just teleported out of nowhere. Oh, those... Okay, those are homing. That's good to know. Dude, get away from me, bro. I'm going to use my, uh, my, my rage here, because, uh... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. And wow, I did like no damage with that. Like this properly is difficult. I have no idea what I'm getting hit by. Literally, no clue. I also just realized that I'm in my boss seat, which uh, I forgot to switch out of. Maybe I just play on this side. Cause then I never have to switch, you know what I mean? Oh, what did I, get? what did I just get stuck on? And why did I get stuck on it? Is it because of my ninja potion? Oh my gosh, dude. I think I need to flatten this out and make an actual arena. If I beat this, I'm gonna get so I'm gonna be so lucky. Am I learning the fight or am I just like getting lucky here? I feel like I'm actually doing really well. <laughs> Woo! We're at 20%. And then I feel like I can get swipe swipes just as easily though. As well as lucky as I may feel. I don't think this luck is uh, will last forever. Like I said, there's got like two taps. Okay, I got a heal off though. I'm at 4% and I'm terrified. 1%? Come on, baby. Ooh! Hey, we got Kazakunai. Yes. That's the one. We got Twisting Nether. What do you do? Mr. Twisting Nether, you. You make the status Void Sash. Increases fall damage resistance by 50 blocks. Can climb walls, dash, dodge attacks, dashes, leave. Oh, it can dash. Oh, interesting. Oh, and we never made the ninja belt. And then, I'm assuming the nightmare fuel is the other stuff? I feel like we should have gotten more from that. Did we not get a treasure? Did it, did it melt? Is that what happened? Did like the treasure bag like get deleted? Because I'm going to be real sad real quick if that's what happened. Holy moly. Wait a second. Hold up. Uh, what I was worried about, and this is what happened with the micro root, I never got close enough with the micro root when it came to boss fights. Oh, what? No! Like half of my screen is like that. Why is it like that? No way. You guys have been seeing that for this like last like 10 minutes of me recording or however long it's been. That is so embarrassing. No, and you still see it because I'm a fool. Oh my goodness, that's been there for so long. How did I not see that before? I'm still gonna put it in the video because I don't wanna re-record anything and I feel like it wouldn't be genuine. And it's not gonna ruin the recording. I mean, it's still gonna have the integrity of the video. Oh my gosh, I'm stunned.
I'm seriously stunned. It's been like that for so long. Okay, once we take on Cygnus one more time, we're this is going to be the end of the episode. Okay, so we did it again, and it looks like we got another summon weapon, which is kind of sick. I want to check that out. Um, but yeah, it looks like... It only drops two Twisting Nethers, so that means we would have to fight it a bunch to get all the weapons that we'd want. Let's open this up just to sell it. Ooh, nice, another Rogue Emblem. I'm pretty sure we need that. So we'll go ahead and head on home. Oh, that's right, the, uh, the Solar Eclipse. Do we want to do this thing? Let me, take a, let me take a quick glance at it. And I have decided to skip it <laughs> for obvious reasons. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell everything except for the um, stuff that we just got. Sell you, Poner, yeah, Summoner, yeah, yeet, delete, perfect. Uh, ooh, I wanted to check out what that summon weapon was, but now I've completely forgotten what it is. So, uh, that is going to be the end of the episode for us. I think we got the Cosmic Kunai. I'm so sorry about like the whole situation with the, the green screen right here. I can't, I can't, I literally can't believe I did that. I thought I checked it. I thought everything looked good. I must have just like moved it as I, um, be right before I recorded or something. And then obviously it's been there for quite some time. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you all. You're all incredibly amazing. I so appreciate, I, I need to get out of that. Appreciate all of the support the last few days. I know I haven't been posting. I promise I'm going to get more regular. Um, as I am now, I have a setup. Everything's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. And you know what? It's because of you guys. There, there's a lot of new people here. If you like the video or have enjoyed the content, make sure to like it. Uh, drop a subscription if you're new here. You haven't subscribed yet. Get that video on your homepage. See it when it goes live because we're going to be posting more consistently. Sorry for last week. Can't say it enough. You guys are amazing. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.